What up, gang? It's your boy Zot back with another banger. You ever think which one has more genetic diversity? F1 or F2? I get the question all the time. And um, even a couple years ago, when my homeboy Chris, Mr. Grow It, when he asked me on show, um, I told him it was, it was F, F2. But I didn't really give a good explanation why. And today, we break down genetic diversity when it comes to F1s and when it comes to F2s. But before we begin, I got an announcement. Happy holidays. It's your favorite holiday besides Christmas, of course. It's your favorite holiday. And shout out to my brother, Goldbeard Genetics. He hit me. He says, uh, we got to do something for the people. He said, yo. I'm in a I'm in a lab right now and I'm working on a, a crazy, crazy sale for the weekend. I said, do your thing. Do your thing, bearded. Do what you gotta do. He hit me back a couple minutes later, dropped the video, did his thing, and he said, man, coupon code Zaza420. 50% off for the whole weekend. So that's for y'all. Thank the homie Goldbeard Genetics. Much love to the family. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Get it! Bow. Like, comment, share, subscribe, you heard me? Yeah, you know it. Turn up the leaf blow, ain't it long, boy? Oh, he ain't smoke the sour. Should've been a hippie, should've been a shower. Bread with no dread, black cock, oh yeah. Another thing, don't forget to join the Discord. Alright, so when it comes to genetic diversity within F1s and F2s, it's completely different. And we talk about a little bit, um, you know, throughout several videos, but I really wanted to get into detail and go through the specifics of the differences between the two. Um, now, we wouldn't necessarily say that one has more than the other. They're different. Um, but they do both carry a certain level of increased genetic diversity when it comes to f1s this is the parent well when we think about the parent this is the f1s are the result of the parental generation right these two organisms mother and father from two different worlds not related at all that in itself is diversity right now, when you think of the potential of the phenomenon we know as heterosis, hybrid vigor, it's not guaranteed, it's a phenomenon, but that also is, uh, contributes to increased genetic diversity. It's the potential for increased genetic diversity because now you are um, considering uh, isolating a specimen that uh, performs or outperforms both parents, mother and father. Now, when we think of F2s, there is also potential for increased genetic diversity, and that is due to what we know as meiosis. And we'll talk about meiosis in a, in a, in a next video, but meiosis is cell division. And when we are breeding brother and sister, this is the result of um, breeding brother and sister to F2s um, is inbreeding. Um, we now reshuffle the deck per se. We get this genetic recombination, this reshuffling of the deck, uh, which then creates this new set of alleles, these new, these new uh, set, set of traits that weren't available during our F1. You know, parental generation so now due to meiosis in cell division we have this increased genetic diversity or the potential um, to locate um, many other allele options um, as we know recessive traits um, are exposed and increase genetic diversity within itself so when we think of the two we can't say one has more genetic diversity in the other because ultimately there's potential 
to find increased genetic diversity with them both. Able to isolate hybrid vigor or heterosis in, in, in the F1 stages, then bam, you know? You've unlocked a, a, a level of genetic diversity that, you know, was, was never available unless you isolated that heterosis. And when you think in terms of F2s, due to the inbreeding, you've now unlocked these recessive traits which never were available or would have been available in the parental, you know. Um, so there's genetic diversity there as well. And the potential to find and unlock these traits in alleles that are, are, are way back, you know, ancestry, you know, down the gene pool, down the pedigree, which we call. Um, and we'll get into how important the family tree, the pedigree, pedigree is so important. Now, I, I definitely get into it in my earlier videos, but whenever uh, we get a new team Zaza member, I get a new student, um, first thing we have them look at is pedigree. Pedigree is the most important, so keep that in mind. Um, and that's it, man, genetic diversity when we think of F1s and F2s. Um, in summary, I mean, both have potential to to show increased genetic diversity. It just depends. I mean, if you can isolate some hybrid vigor due to parental um, um, breeding in the F1s, then, then awesome, increased genetic diversity. If you are able to isolate some awesome recessive traits that you would have never sh uh, uh, seen during F1 or any other uh, generation for that matter, then um, you've increased genetic diversity. Um, it's all about creating your own population, making it your own. Always like to compare a new salesman who gets a script, right? He gets this script that's been passed down for years throughout the company. Um, and his objective is to memorize the script, practice it, do it in a mirror, right? Until you got it word for word. You can recite it without reading it. And then eventually, once you do that, you can now add your own style, your own flair, your own flavor to it. And, and it's real similar when we think in terms of this selective breeding. Yeah, you're starting with a, a script, you know, somebody else's uh, gene pool. But, but the goal is to create your own gene pool, make it your own, through your own work of selective breeding and isolating traits. Hope that uh, helps out. Enjoy your holiday. Be safe. Um, you know, get lifted, but stay safe, man. And don't forget, ZazaGenetics.com. Use code ZAZA420. ACInfinity.com. Use code Team ZAZA for a discounted checkout. And much love, peace, and blessings, man. Uh, thank you for your support. Uh, meiosis video should be next, so keep tune. Make sure you hit the like button. It helps me out a ton with the algorithm. That's all I need. Um, you can also subscribe, man, and join Team Zaza uh, at the YouTube subscription page. So consider that and some of the perks. If you want to come learn with us, um, join Team Zaza. But uh, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down in the section below. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I do see your comments, even if I don't respond. So please uh, make sure you comment. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop another banger. And um, if you haven't already, man, please subscribe. Don't be a recurring viewer um, and haven't subscribed, man. It helps, it helps out, man. If you appreciate the content and the work that I put out, um, go ahead and subscribe, man. Uh, it, it helps out a ton. And like, like the video, like the video, like the video, man. Thank y'all, I love y'all. Happy Fort Twizzy, man. I'm out of here.